25 factorial means 25 into 24 into 23 until 1. So of course there would be a 13 somewhere, there would be a 2 somewhere. So 26 is going to be a factor of 25. So this statement is false. 29 is a factor of 25. 29 is a prime number greater than 25. So of course this is not going to lie anywhere in this product. Therefore, no, 29 is not a factor of 25. This statement is also incorrect. Look at the last one. This is 1 million, 10 raised to power 6. Don't take it as 10 raised to power 6. Take it as 2 raised to power 6 into 5 raised to power 6. When you expand 25 factorial, intuitively you can see 2 raised to power 6 will not be a problem. 8 itself has 3 2's in it, 16 has 2 raised to power 4 in it. So 6 2's is never going to be a problem. It's about 5 raised to power 6. So see, 5, 10, 15, 20, they would each have 1 5 in it. So they would leave a 5 raised to power 4 and 25 has 2 5's in it, 5 raised to power 2. This is a very important concept, the concept of highest power of a prime number. In case you're not familiar with this concept, please watch our video straightforward to find the number of 5's in 25 factorial. We say 25 upon 5, 5 and then 5 upon 5, one more. They're going to be 6 5's and therefore as many 10's in 25 factorial. Here I have done it quite simply. It was a small number I could actually practically count. These 4 have 1 5's, 25 has 2. So they're going to be six fives and therefore one million is going to be a factor of 25 factorial. The right answer choice here is option B.